Hey, what's up guys? On today's video, I'm gonna show you all a hunt that I had with my stepson Miles a few days ago. I've been taking him with me a bunch this year whenever I go bow hunting. Actually, this upcoming weekend, I'm gonna try to take him out during the firearm season and get his first deer. Anytime I leave the house to go deer hunting, he's always wanting to go if he can. So on this particular case, we were out there on some public land and he come along with me. So y'all check it out. Wait, if I do this, can I like, how do you? Turn this on so I can look through here. Just gotta close and pull that and now close the, the side screen. Oh shoot, I can still see you though. Can you see now? I can see you. <laughs> look at all these tracks right here, bud. Okay. It's pretty thick in here, isn't it? Today, it's like 1.32 in the afternoon. Me and Miles are gonna hang in this same tree that I was in the other day. I'm gonna put him in my little stand and I'm gonna stand on my saddle platform and hopefully a big buck shows up. We'll see. Come on. Okay, go. Okay, now remember you gotta slide that up. Wait, 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 be patient. Slide that up. There you go. I'll go easy, okay? Watch out. There you go. Okay, you're in. You did it. What do you want to tell everybody at home watching? Uh, I don't know. Just hope a big old buck walks from out there, right over here. Stops about like right there in the air and blasts him. Blasts him with an arrow. Blasts him with an arrow. Alright guys, it's November 5th and me and Miles are set up for the afternoon. We found this little piece of public land a few days ago that's real close to our house and we came in here and sat on the ground in folding chairs the first night and rattled in a little spike buck. And then the next day while Miles was at school, I came in here to this spot that we're sitting right now and I saw two does and a fawn just sitting through the middle of the day. I basically took him to school, dropped him off at 7.15 or so, and then I came out here and hunted until I had to go pick him up at two o'clock. I found a pile of rubs in this little oak flat in this creek bottom. And these red oaks that we're actually hung in right here are still dropping acorns. That's what those deer were in here feeding on. They're starting to rut pretty good. The cell camera up there at the farm has been going off with bucks on bucks the last few days, but I'm kind of waiting until he can hunt with a gun again before we go back up there because I really want him to get his first deer. So we've been saving the the home farm a little bit, trying to keep the pressure off of it. It's pretty warm this afternoon. It's like 68, 69 degrees, but got a wind blowing straight up this creek. I'm taking it out into this uh, fescue field over here behind. It's just this pasture over here. I don't expect any deer to come from that way. When I was here the other day, they all came from right behind the camera right here up this creek. And as you can probably tell from the video, it's pretty thick down in here. Perfect place for deer to be staging up on acorns tonight before they skedaddle out of his bedding area. Miles is gonna play some video games on his phone and bring me some good luck. What you play in? Basketball arena. <laughs> good eyes, buddy.
Yeah. The whole time. You did good sitting still. He came right down out of that thick stuff, just like we're hoping they would do. shot him with your bow, Miles. Yeah, whenever he stopped right there, I could have shot him. Yep. <sighs> That's cool. That's really cool. Yep. And it's early still. Yep. There she is coming. Oh, there she is.
get her, Miles. I didn't get her. She did you on my string. Watch her. She's down. She's down, Miles. She just went down. but I watched her go down over there. I'm assuming because the angle downward got the top of one lung and the center of the other one. It was definitely higher than what I wanted it. Let's go. I think she's laying dead up there though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's get out of this tree. Yes. <laughs> we got all this crap to pack up. You know, all of a sudden my butt doesn't hurt as much. Oh, that's good. <laughs> all of a sudden. Oh, that's great. Oh man, that was wild. I was waiting on them. I was hoping a buck was gonna show up to come in here and check them does, but that one doe got nervous early on, that old doe. And when she started blowing the other deer that were back behind her, they went back up in the bedding. She started coming back down here to this creek crossing and Miles was like, will you please shoot her? I'm like, yeah, I'll shoot her if she gives me a chance. It just took her forever to give me a chance. <laughs> and then she finally broke into the open about right 15, 17 yards away, and Aaron. <gasps> can mom come out here? Mm -hmm. All right, mom. I think you guys can come out here if you want to. We'll call you whenever you guys should come. Okay. All right, good. bye. Love you. I love you, bye. I wasn't expecting to get a doe tonight. Oh, I me neither. <laughs> All right, I'll give you guys a quick update here. I'm obviously not up in the tree anymore. Got all my crap down out of there. Me and Miles headed out. We were gonna take all of our stuff back to the truck, get some knives and go take care of this doe. And then I asked him if he had any homework because it's Sunday night and he's like, oh crap, I do have homework. So his mother came and picked him up and I'm gonna have to go take care of the doe by myself because he needs to get his butt home and get his homework done. So I think she's down up here, so I'm gonna go grab her. Got my jet sled down here. There's blood right here. Where she's bounding. Yeah, a lot of blood. I didn't even see exactly where she fell. She's zigging and zagging up here a good bit. There's a bunch more right here. A bunch of it right here. Yep. More right there. She should be. There she's laid. Right there. Up in here next to this buck red. Good night, nurse. That's a big old doe. Holy crap, that's a big old doe. I'm gonna get her tagged and drug out of there. Get a better look at her here. There's the entry right there. High scapula. There's the exit right there. Right on at the elbow. Slightly quarter and two. I got her tagged. And she's gonna get a ride in the jet sled out of here. Boys are wanting summer sausage made and that girl right there is a perfect candidate. She's got real white 
legs if you're looking at footage she's got white on all four legs real cool deer high shot but up in the tree stand the exit was still center body center mass on the other side and she was toast i got i don't have a super far drag to the truck but it's all uphill but a good hunt with miles he had lots of fun and so did i that's a good old doe to get right there i'm pretty tickled with that thanks for watching guys we'll see y'all in the next one I don't know if y'all can see that down there. That is a white-tailed deer in a sled. And this is a hill. And I gotta figure out how to get her up here. Whew. Filling tags here in Missouri. <laughs>